So I'm back. I'm actually waiting in line to get tea from Starbucks. Really exciting stuff. What better place to make a video? So let's talk about the lower leg now. Okay, so we're talking about the knee and down. Again, just like I did in the other video about the pelvis, let's arrange the muscle based on their compartments. You have an anterior compartment of the lower leg, a lateral compartment, and then two posterior compartments, okay? The superficial and deep posterior compartments. Same idea, the nerves just go in these compartments and innervate all the muscles in there. So don't worry about memorizing like, individual nerves, all right? So let's look at the lower leg. Let's take the anterior compartment first, okay? Your anterior compartment are basically your extensors, right? Tibialis anterior, extensor digitorum longus, extensor hallucis longus. All right, so your extensors of your ankle, your extensors of your toes and uh, are on your, all right? <coughs> Sorry. And they are innervated by the deep perineal or the deep fibular nerve. So the deep part of it refers to the dorsum of the foot. So D and D. D for deep, D for dorsum. That's where the muscles run. Easy enough. You have your lateral compartment, basically perineal brevis and longus. Um, hold on one second, I gotta order. I gotta pick up my food. Thank you much. Okay, the uh, stopper, please. Thank you much. Appreciate it. So this is how my videos work, huh? I pick up, I pick up tea, and I give you guys a video. That's Professor in One Hundred and One. All right. Sorry about that. So the lateral compartment, perineals, perineal longus and brevis. They are innervated by the superficial perineal nerve. Go figure that. The perineal nerve innervates the perineal muscles. But the difference is because they are on the side of your leg, they are innervated by the superficial perineal. Haha, <laughs> lost you. Back. This is so safe, by the way. I highly recommend doing this. All right, so we've got the anterior compartment with the deep perineal, we got the uh, lateral compartment with the superficial perineal. That just leaves the posterior compartment. And luckily for you, they're both innervated by the exact same nerve, the tibial. As you recall from a prior video, the tibial does the tush, so it does the hamstrings. It comes straight down the back of the leg, right down those posterior compartments. So gastrocnemius, soleus, and your flexor, so tibialis posterior, all your flexors, all tibial. That's it. So it really is that simple. You have the compartments and nerves that go into each individual compartment. If you start seeing the body and start seeing it like that, hopefully that sort of, no pun intended, compartmentalizes the way you're learning the nerves as opposed to try and memorize each individual nerve, etc. All right, so if you look through the whole lower extremity, um, you're going to have uh, the, the tibial nerve starting in the pelvis, innervating the posterior hamstrings, dropping down into the posterior compartment of the lower leg, both superficial and deep. So hamstrings, gastrocnemius, soleus, and the flexors, tibialis posterior. Uh, you're going to have the femoral nerve basically doing your uh, quadriceps. So rectus femoris, vastus medialis, vastus lateralis, vastus intermedius, and Mr. sartorius. So the femoral does the front. Your adductors. Uh, adductor magnus, brevis, longus, pectineus, gracilis. They are operator on the inside of the thigh. Uh, by the way, I do know that adductor magnus has a contribution to the hamstring, a little bit of a nerve thing, so don't get... I, I get that, okay? I'm, so don't email me and say, Dr. T, you're wrong. I understand that. Um, now, the uh, lateral hip, the lateral pelvis... You have TFL, tensor fascia lata, glute medius and glute minimus. That is superior gluteal. It makes sense that the gluteal nerve will do medius and minimus. And because they're a little bit higher, that's going to be the superior one. Gluteus maximus is a little bit lower. That's going to be the inferior gluteal nerve. Makes sense. As we get down to the leg, uh, the tibial nerve, like I said, continues down to the posterior compartments. The superficial perineal or fibular nerve whichever textbook you're reading, does the side or the lateral compartment, that's perineal longus and perineal brevis, and then your deep perineal or deep fibular nerve, actually 
wraps around the fibular head, which is kind of cool, and dives into the anterior compartment. So tibialis anterior, extensor digitorum longus, extensor hallucis longus. Those are your innovations. So hopefully when you're watching this video with your muscle worksheet, we watch it a couple times, see if you can kind of make sense of it all, it should help this out. Now, the nerves I didn't talk about are the nerves that go down into the intrinsic muscle of the foot, all right? That's a little bit too complicated. Matter of fact, the mnemonic device to make sense of that would actually probably confuse you more. So that's a little bit too complicated. So we're not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. Um, but uh, that should hopefully help with the big muscles. And clinically, once you leave UNCG, those are probably the muscles you're gonna be most dealing with anyway. So hopefully this helps. Uh, stay tuned, I will be posting a uh, upper extremity for shoulder and arm in a little bit. So, see you in class.